Yeah, and Max Tegmark calls it Moloch, right? This I race love to the that bottom. analogy, yeah. Yeah, it's this concept, uh, yeah, that's, I guess, been around for quite some time, that, that prisoner's dilemma that we race to the bottom. And again, with, um, with Google, you, you saw it a bit, whereas the, the Google Bard initial demonstration you know, was a PR kind of a nightmare. The, the stock price faltered, but when they came back, it was a better version, and it was now connected to the live internet. Mm -hmm. And it was almost like they took one more step closer to the bottom, you know, exactly. to stay competitive. Exactly. Maybe that's a simplistic way of looking at that, but that was the, the way I try to explain it to my students is that now they, they said, okay, we're gonna see you and raise you because we have a trillion dollars of market cap that we're, or two trillion that we have to protect. And like you said, if Sunar doesn't do it, they'll get rid of him and some, someone else will do that. Exactly the, exactly the challenge we're at. And I think, I think that the, the, the truth of the matter is that uh, as you rightly said, I'll see you and raise you is what's what's happening today. You know, it, it is the gold rush all over again. It is the internet bubble all over again. And yes, there will be fallout in the process, but in my personal view, we're just going to see more and more and more. Uh, there's no stopping it. Some people do equate this to the dot-com bubble. You saw that. I was the, um, the CFO of a dot-com startup in New York City at the ripe age of 27. And uh, we raised $15 million. It was called luxuryfinder.com. You could buy like a jet on our website. It was a bunch of wealthy people in New York and the Hamptons that put money in, like Leon Black and all these people. And I was just watching it happen. It went up and then it crashed down. And for a couple of years, you couldn't say the word tech in New York City or someone would want to punch you in the face. You know, three years I later, Google years. kind yeah. of was started and it, yeah. it came about. And I remember the days, I remember the, the madness going on. I remember all my buddies in finance like telling me to stop talking about the internet and I was saying this is Columbus in the new world, etc. How does AI differ from that? It doesn't at all. I mean, remember at the end of the day, you know, if you remember all of the, you know, uh, uh, Commerce One and, um, you know, e-grocer and all of those, I don't, you know, I don't remember even the names anymore, who disappeared completely but the internet continued. Right? And the internet continued at a pace that most people didn't understand because at the time they thought that the dot com bubble was, uh, you know, the, the disappearance of the money was the disappearance of the internet. It was the dis redistribution of the money that was the rise of the internet. And we, you'll see that here as well. I mean, I have so many. Uh, uh, you know, um, investment um, um, firms asking my advice on where to invest in AI, and you know, I can attempt to look intelligent, but anywhere you will invest, you'll make money. So, right, you you'll, you'll, you will lose a good chunk of your portfolio on startups that will fail, and there is a criteria to minimize that chunk, right? But, and, you know, if you invest in a sector at large, you know, AI and healthcare, you will grow. I mean, it's, it's just uh, inevitable, it's money flow, money is coming in, and, and, you know, and the sector will continue to grow. The, the, the question really that I think we, humanity has never uh, uh, ever answered is the fact that we can do it does not necessitate that we should do it. And I think with artificial intelligence specifically, uh, I think humanity should stop and ask, do we need this? Because we literally are handing over our only distinct advantage as a flimsy biological being uh, as a species, uh, we're handing that over within years, within, I'm not ten, saying tens of years, and, and I'm very, I know there are very varying views on this, and so I'm putting my neck on the line and saying within years, within years, probably before 2029, we'll see an AGI. Uh, that surpasses human intelligence. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReel.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look 
on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, do you want to profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it. Listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto, learning DeFi, got to do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over the over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. I feel far more confident in my next steps. You took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done. And I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. This course has been like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space, but just uh, an overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. Yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody top notch. Excellence does not come cheap. You know, so if you want excellence, you gotta pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not gonna regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future.